Masuga just released their ninth album, Immutable, and there's no better time than now than to update my Masuga ranking. I did one about a year ago, just kind of a random ranking, but you know, timing lines up, might as well update it with the new album. I have a full review out for Immutable, so check that out if you want to hear my full thoughts in depth, basically track by track on that album. So yeah, check that out. Let's do every Masuga record ranked. Starting at the bottom at number nine, we have Contradictions Collapse. This album is kind of like defaulted at the bottom of my sugar rankings because it's so different but at the same time it's got a really cool vibe to it it's like a blend of i'd say like chaos ad era sepultura and <clears throat> like and justice for all era metallica but with that Meshuggah like janky uh rhythmic kind of sense to it pretty cool record just it's nothing that i want from Meshuggah. it's much more of a weird old school thrash metal record than it is a or i'd say like late 80s thrash metal record than it is a mashuga album and just not one that i really listen to unless if i'm listening to basically every mashuga record which again i would listen to it last or if i'm doing a ranking video for this so yeah i listen to it again and it's just kind of a cool record it has a cool vibe and everything but just not really what i want from mashuga so at number nine we have contradictions collapse number eight we have what i think is like the most divisive and controversial Meshuggah record and that is Tetz 33. People feel very strongly about this record one way or another. People either absolutely love this record or are like me and think it's just kind of fine. It's really experimental I would say. There's a lot of cool moments on it. I like all of the rhythmic passages and how the songs are chopped up and everything but at the same time there's not really much there that leaves me like wanting to go back and listen to songs in particular. It's one of those records that works best, and I think is intentionally made this way, works best from a beginning to end kind of record. And for me, while I do enjoy that and I do enjoy this record, it just doesn't really, I wouldn't be like, oh, no way, Meshuggah's playing uh, Re-Inanimate live on this tour. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's one of those weird records, but... I will say In Death Is Life and In Death Is Death Is Cool, um, Shed is another pretty cool track on here, but as a whole, one of those records that you kind of have to listen to in full to get the whole, um, I guess, epicness of the record, you could say. It's just a cool, weird album. It's very experimental and does some interesting things, but as a whole, just not one that I find myself going back to too much and don't really end up putting a lot of songs from it on like a Meshuggah playlist or something. So yeah, at number eight, Catch 33. At number seven, we have the new album, Unmutable. My review was, I think I gave it a seven out of 10. It's, I had a lot of critiques about it, but as a whole, it's basically just Meshuggah being Meshuggah. My main issue with the record is just how long it is. I will say, since I did that review, I do find myself like clicking on certain songs and they hit so much better when they're not in the scope of the album. And I think that's what's the interesting thing about it. How it's kind of the opposite of Catch 33, where I would lab, I'd rather listen to these songs scattered throughout a playlist or like one at a time, rather than all, I think it's like 67 minutes the whole record is. And I think the biggest issue with it for me is that it's like a solid album beginning to end, but there's no like standout tracks to me that are just like, wow, that's like, I can't wait for Meshuggah to start playing this song live and everything. Some of my favorite songs, though, that I do find myself going back to and listening to are I Am The Thirst. That's, like, one of the coolest songs on the record. Ligature Marks, one of, probably, I'd say, the heaviest song on the record. Phantoms, Broken Cog. There's some really cool songs on this record, but, like I said, no song, like, if you look at an album like Violent Sleep of Reason, there's no, like, Born in Dissonance or Clockworks, I would say. Just some songs a little bit better than the songs that than the other songs i'll say the singles are probably my least favorite songs on the record but yeah overall a pretty solid record but just it's a little too big and long for me i'd rather take these songs in small doses than listen to the whole uh like hour and seven minute record so yeah number seven immutable at number six we have the album that kind of started it all and that is destroy your race improved what an amazing record at this point on these are all records that i really love and listen to quite frequently this is kind of when Meshuggah became Meshuggah, or at least this era of Meshuggah kind of really happened. This in Chaos Fear, I kind of consider its own sort of era. This is, again, bringing in, I hear a lot of Sepultura influence on here, specifically in a song like Soulburn, that's very Chaos AD, in my opinion. Um, but just in like the rhythmic stuff, but just ramped up so hard, which is how tight it is. 
I love the rawness of the record. I'm pretty sure they recorded it pretty live, if not completely live. It was just like, you know, they went in a room and hit record and just for them being this tight, it's so unreal. Future Breed Machine. This is one of those records that, you know, is like over 20 years old, but still sounds like it came out like, you know, last year or something, especially if they were to like update the mix and everything and have like that, like we'll say a band like Periphery that just rips off Mashuga. Uh, that kind of production on this record, it would sound brand new, like it came out from last year or something. Other cool songs, uh, Vanished is a good one. Just a really awesome raw Mashuga record, I would say. It shows everything that the band's doing. Only reason why it's at number six and not higher is just because I like other albums more. It's really nothing against this record as much as it is endorsing the albums that are above it, I would say. So yeah, number six, Destroy, Erase, Improve. At number five, we have Chaos Fear. This album is so perfectly titled because of just how absolutely chaotic it is. This album is insane. Same things I said about Destroy, Race, Improve, with just the rawness of it, the intensity. It's so heavy. It's so thrashy. And like, I want to, I don't want to say it's looser than Destroy, Race, Improve, but you could tell they're just like going for it. And it has this intensity that is, everything is about to fall apart. But at the same time, they're so fucking tight. It's a really cool unique sound for the the band and like this like i said this kind of like early era of the band um favorite songs obviously new millennium sinai christ is like a staple for mishuga absolutely killer song one of my favorite breakdowns in mishuga's discography and really of all time i would say just that i think that's the rhythm just a really awesome tune one of the uh, few mishuga songs i actually know how to play which is cool Corridor of Chameleons is actually the first Meshuggah song I ever heard. My uncle had it on his computer, and I was like, I've heard of Meshuggah, and just put that song on there, and I was like, this is, honestly, I thought it kind of sucked <laughs> when I first listened to it, but listening to it now, Meshuggah's a band that took me a long time to really get into and appreciate. Listening back to it, the song absolutely slaps, but probably my second favorite song on the record after New Millennium Sinai Christ is The Exquisite Machinery of Torture probably the heaviest song on the record because of how chaotic everything else is this one just kind of settles in one of those big heavy mashuga grooves for the majority of the track just awesome heavy song i love the experimentation there's almost like a new metal or like alternative metal kind of vibe going on in terms of yenza's vocals and song like that and uh i think the song sane also has some weird vocal things going on really cool album definitely a more aggressive version of Meshuggah, probably the most aggressive album we have from the band. So number five is Chaos Fear. At number four, we have The Violent Sleep of Reason. Absolutely killer record. This is the record that came out when I was getting into Meshuggah. Um, my buddy that I was like, one of my new friends at the time was, ask, was asking me if I liked Meshuggah and I was like, not really. And he invited me to go see them with him. Shout out Craig. And I was like, damn, this band fucking slaps. So I got the record and this record is fucking awesome. Um, Clockworks might be my favorite Meshuggah song. Definitely like top five Meshuggah songs. Clockworks is just crazy. Born in Dissonance, so unbelievably heavy with the chugs and a breakdown that's almost similar to a Rational Gaze off of nothing. Monstro City, really dumb song title, but has an awesome hook and like catchy bounciness to it. The title track, I love the uh, slidey riff on that song. The descending slide riff is really cool. Nostrum is a cool song, right? Our Rage Won't Die. Just a really awesome heavy record. This is, I think, the beginning of this modern era of Meshuga that we're in, where it's more organic and big sounding, where if you look at the albums that came before it, from like Nothing to Coloss, it's a, the production's a lot more like cold sounding and very like precise and I think cold and it, I don't want to say robotic, but everything's really tight and really perfect. Then they came out with this record and it's just huge sounding. It's really awesome. And Immutable is also like that. The reason why I like this more than Immutable, because this is also a long album, is because this album does have those standout tracks that I think are some of the band's best material ever. So even though this album's almost an hour long as well, they place the best songs, I think, in a bit of like a strategic way that like once I start being like, okay, I get it, it's Meshuggah being Meshuggah, they land in with one of those like best songs that they've ever done. So yeah, number four, The Violent Sleep of Reason. At number three, we have probably the band's most famous album, and that is Obzen. This has obviously Bleed. Bleed is one of the most like famous metal songs of all time, I would say at this point. It's definitely one of the first like super viral metal songs, I'd say, whether it's the music, just the music video or like that live video of Thomas Hawk's drum cam, 
really insane. The album as a whole, fucking awesome. Combustion, love it. It's probably one of the most simplistic Meshuggah songs from like an outside view. When you start like dissecting it, it does get a little bit crazy and like weird in terms of timing and everything. But as a whole, it's pretty straightforward of a song, I would say. Electric Red, I love the droney, uh, it's in like the, there's a riff in the middle of the song where they kind of drone on this open string. It's really cool, really cool, like weird polyrhythm. Lethargica, one of my favorite songs. Another one of the few Meshuggah songs that I actually know how to play. Obzen's really heavy. Provis, so intense, so heavy. It reminds me back to the uh, Chaos Sphere era where it's just really fast and in your face, but this has that really tight production of it, just that modern production, you'd say. And then obviously Dancers to a Discordant System is just one of like the sickest songs they've ever made. So yeah, really famous record. At this point, we're in the top three and all of these records just absolutely slap. So this one just kind of ends up here. Number three, Obzen. And at number two, we have Coloss. Fucking love this record. I was just talking with uh, Metal Trenches, if you know Metal Trenches. Now, we don't understand how some people don't like this record because this record to me kind of almost captures everything I love about Meshuggah. It's really groovy. It's heavy. It has its faster moments. It kind of like every song like finds this groove and kind of sticks with it. But most importantly, the songwriting on this record is so catchy and so hooky. And you remember how the songs go the more you listen to them. And even on the first few lists, you have a song like Demiurg, which is, I would say, probably Meshuggah's second most favorite song after, uh, most uh, famous song after Bleed, just because of how catchy and hooky it is. Again, it's almost simplistic by Meshuggah standards, but then you have songs like Swarm, which is awesome. When I first got started getting into Meshuggah, what I did after I bought The Violent Sleep of Reason was I bought the, uh, the Orphidian track DVD, and they open up, that's from this tour, they open up the show with Swarm, and it's just such a cool opening track. It's just the way that, like, builds and the dynamics of it all. I Am Colossus, the way the album just do 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 just like so classic Meshuggah. Um, Morrow is another one of my favorites. I love the clean guitar intro. Just really awesome record that every time I listen to it, I'm reminded of like how catchy Meshuggah could be while still being, you know, unrelentingly heavy and unrelentingly Meshuggah. So yeah, number two, Coloss. And at number one, I can't find my CD for it. It's probably in my car, is nothing. What a banger of a record. This album, pretty much, where I said Coloss almost does everything I love about Meshuggah, nothing does everything I love about Meshuggah. It's so catchy, heavy, atmospheric. The variety of all of Meshuggah's sounds is throughout this whole record. You have the opening track, Stanga, which just opens up with one of the most Meshuggah riffs ever. The bam ba dum bam ba dum bam ba dum that's such a Meshuggah riff. This is the first album they did with eight string um, tunings, I believe. I don't think, I think the story is they didn't have their signature eight string guitars yet. Their custom made eight strings guitars because at the time, like eight string guitars kind of like didn't exist. So what they did was they just down tuned their seven strings, but they're in that eight string tuning. So I could just imagine like when this album first came out, everyone would be like, <sighs> because of how low they're tuned. Um, Rational Gaze sounds like something off of Coloss, which is how bouncy, simple, and hooky it is. I love the breakdown of it, where it all just kind of ends on that big open note, and Jens builds it up with his vocals and goes back into that heavy groove. Closed Eyes Visual is probably my favorite song on the record. I love the opening. Such a cool riff. This, the way that song evolves and everything. Perpetual Black Second, of course. Uh, Straws Pulled at Random, that outro. This has, has such an awesome groove and you have the ambient like atmospheric stuff going on around it and adds like this cool melodic nature to it which is something you haven't heard a lot on the albums before nothing so it's just a cool new sound for Meshuggah in that era and the last song I want to talk about is Organic Shadows just because that song's an absolute fucking bar barn burner with how heavy it is just Nothing is the album that if I had to listen to one Meshuggah record for the rest of my life it would be nothing because of the variety the catchiness of the songs, the songwriting, and just it's Meshuggah being everything that Meshuggah is on one record. So has to be number one for me, nothing. And that's my ranking of all nine Meshuggah records. Let me know how you would rank it down below. One of my favorite bands at this point in my life, I would say they're always just a fun band to listen to. I like listening to their albums and uh, kind of like thinking of like where like the the pattern goes and everything you know that's one of the fun parts about listening to Meshuggah is just trying to figure out the patterns of the riffs and everything and it's just you know keeps you on the, your toes and 
it's also just really good heavy music it's almost meditative at times so yeah definitely check out immutable if you haven't again i have the full review app for that let me know what you think of my list tell me why i'm wrong uh support mashuga i'm seeing them in september with torch i believe i uh, it was supposed to be with converge but converge dropped off because the whole tour got uh rescheduled so whatever really excited to see them again thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe and later